The year is 2077. Humanity, having depleted Earth's resources, sets its sights on the uncharted Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter. But Ganymede is not empty. Nestled beneath its icy crust lies a civilization far older than humanity, the Ethel. The Ethel are beings of pure energy, existing in harmony with their environment. They view humans as a barbaric force, intent on destroying their pristine moon. When the first human mining operation breaks the icy surface, a silent war begins. Leading the human effort is General Vargas, a hardened soldier driven by a thirst for resources and a deep-seated fear of Earth's decline. He spearheads the construction of mechanized exoskeletons, their human pilots wielding powerful energy weapons. On the Ethel side stands Anya, a young being who embodies the collective consciousness of her kind. Anya communicates through telepathic projections, her voice a chorus of whispers urging the humans to leave Ganymede in peace. The initial skirmishes are brutal. The Ethel, despite their peaceful nature, unleash devastating energy blasts from their crystalline structures. The humans, relying on brute force, struggle to adapt to their unseen enemy. But the war takes an unexpected turn when a young pilot, Maya, makes contact with Anya. Through a series of dreams and visions, Maya begins to understand the Ethel's perspective. She sees their deep connection to Ganymede and their fear of human encroachment. Torn between her loyalty to humanity and her newfound empathy for the Ethel, Maya becomes a bridge between the two warring factions. She risks court-martial by sharing Anya's message with General Vargas, urging him to reconsider their invasion. Vargas, initially resistant, is forced to confront the truth, Ganymede does not hold the resources he promised. The true wealth lies in the knowledge and wisdom of the Ethel, their understanding of harnessing energy from Ganymede's core. In a tense standoff, Vargas makes a gamble. He orders a ceasefire and proposes a collaborative effort, humans would share their technological expertise in exchange for the Ethel's knowledge of sustainable energy harvesting. Anya, sensing the genuine change within Vargas, accepts. The war on Ganymede ends not with victory or defeat, but with understanding. It becomes a symbol of hope, a testament to humanity's capacity for change and the possibility of coexistence with other forms of life, even in the vast unknown of space.